Hello, people. Hello, people. Hello, people. We are gonna be reacting to beating Minecraft the way Mojang intended it. I don't know who Mojang is, but tell me. Mojang is a company that made Minecraft. Oh, yay. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's the reason why I always see that. Now that I know who he is. That was such an interesting intro. Anyway, a small percentage of you guys are subscribed to us. So it's free to subscribe to us. You can always change your mind later on. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Think you know how to play Minecraft? Well, you don't. You see, not I long guess ago, I know Mo Yang released Minecraft. a series of guides about different aspects of the game, and by piecing together information from each, we can beat the game how we're supposed to. Fortunately for you guys, I took one for the team, and for just $39.99, I now know the so secrets nice. they have been keeping from us. Like, that design did you looks know beautiful. Jeb is a simp? Yeah, polar bears were added because his wife boots. liked them. My life is a lie. And, and, uh, did you know that mobs will glide if they're wearing a light truck? Pretty cool, right? I'm in crippling debt. <laughs> Anyways, let's generate a world and I get started. That. Right off the bat, it's time for some audience participation. When you first load into a world, what is the first thing you should do? Is it A? <gasps> what do you think is the first thing you should do when you're playing Minecraft? Get wood? Like, because you can immediately get wood. Trees are usually all around you, right? So you just go get wood and then you make a crafting table. Now you're gonna tell me you know what the first thing you should- Okay, what's the first thing you should do? I mean, it's up to the player. The first thing I do, I, I just run around looking for what I care. What is the first thing you should do though? Not what you can do. What should you do? The first thing I do. Uh -huh, you do. <laughs> and everybody should do. <laughs> it's look around. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's item. continue with this. Get, tell me an wood. item. B, gather wood. C, gather wood. Or D, all the above. No. Yes. That's Luke a trick around. question. None of these. The correct answer is gather dirt, build a pillar, a spawn, and dislocate both your hips. I can't believe that's not the first thing that comes to your mind. You're so stupid. All right. Other you than see? the unorthodox start on day one, the guide that. mostly <laughs> follows everyone's first day. Collect some wood. Around. Make a crafting table. Make a full set of wooden tools that you'll totally use. Find some cobblestone. Immediately replace your set of tools. Refund your donation to Team Trees. Become a vegan. Make mama sheep into a twin size mattress. Enjoy perfect medium rare. Further destroy the landscape and make your at home. Oh my god, he's so fast! <laughs> my English! <laughs> he is speed running that manual. Yeah. Holy crap! Is he gonna read all the book <laughs> in 10 minutes? He's already on point 20, Felipe! Just a typical first day. Alright, day two. Time to craft some essentials. Let's make a chest, a ladder, a boat, a trap door, and a bowl? I'm not sure what the bowl's for, but I don't see a I toilet ladder, anywhere. Right? Okay, so it's time to mine for iron. The guide informs us that iron can be found below sea level. That's useful. So let's go find some. And bada bing, bada boom, we got ourselves some iron. Let's upgrade our tools, craft flint and steel, that was a bucket, and shears. Fuss. Sorry we didn't make the shears earlier, mama sheep. Alrighty, we're pretty much set up and ready to prepare amazing. for the nether. Mo Yang recommends a full set of enchanted diamond armor. Great. I don't even have iron armor yet, and I have to get a full <laughs> set of diamond before going to the nether. Oh! Ah, uh, yes. Listen to the sound. I don't even really use diamond when, I'm, when I go well, to the sucks. nether. No way! Some of my stuff survived. <laughs> Stupid creeper. I'm gonna grab some more resources since we lost everything, and this time I'm making some iron armor. The amount of time that must All have right, taken. I'm pretty much situated. Back to what we were doing before, preparing for the nether. Let's mine some diamonds. <laughs> is this a time lapse? Apparently the only way to survive in the nether is a full set of enchanted diamond armor. When mining, Mo Yang recommends you leave a torch trail so you don't get lost, but somehow I always manage to just not have enough. They also recommend you bring ladders to make an easy and safe escape to the surface. But what I'm more concerned with is why Alex, there's diamonds right there. How did you miss those? So Mo Yang does show enchanted diamond armor for the nether, but it never says what enchantments I have to put on it. Fire protection and blast protection enchants will come in particularly handy. You get protection one, take it or leave it. While mining for diamonds, I made a diamond pickaxe and gathered some obsidian for a portal. All right, I don't want to start a fight in the comments, but do you build your nether portal with 10 blocks or 14 blocks? Because personally, I build mine with... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was about to say, oh, I sometimes I do have sometimes like 14 blocks because if I'm getting obsidian, usually I just get a lot. I don't even know how to build that. <laughs> You'll get there. I mean, look at that thing. That's hilarious. I was not expecting that. 50. All right, before we go to the nether, 
Mo Yang says using snowballs is essential in blaze combat as they do three damage. I never knew that. So I let's gather some snow. Okay, it's time to go to the nether. We have everything we need. Here we go. Build a box around our portal to protect it from gas fireballs. Now it's time to find a nether fortress. Mo Yang recommends we make a trail with blocks that aren't native to the nether so we can easily find our way back out. They also recommend we construct panic shelters at regular intervals across the nether. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yo, what the f*** is that thing? Ah, uh, yes. More terrain that's not in my book. And more friendly creatures! <laughs> Why does that thing sound like me on the toilet after eating Taco Bell? This foolish biome seems to be home to a what good amount of endermen, so I'm gonna kill it for you and hopefully we can get some ender pearls. I got three. Well, that's three more than I had. Since our guide is severely inaccurate, we're pretty much on our own for the nether. I just gotta find myself a nether fortress. I cannot find a fortress. I don't find know how long another I have fortress, been wandering, but I can't find It's the find hardest one. part. Oh, come on! Wait, is that one? Oh my gosh, dude. Finally! <laughs> I was about to end it all. Wither skeletons are one of the scariest mobs. Changed my mind. Ah, shit. I'm gonna mark the hallways as I go so it's easier for me to find my way out. I hear some blazes. It's time for a snowball fight. I hope Mo Yang is right about this. Ah! You Wait, like does it mean? <laughs> does it mean you'll not say you anything piece of rotten bacon? about how to maneuver the nether fortress? No. Huh. It kind of I didn't, I didn't know you can do that with the snowball. Oh, oh, did I? Nice. There's one. Do blazes just not drop blaze rods when killed with snowballs? Do I need to put looting on my snowballs? Put an enchantment on a snowball. And that should be enough. Let's get out of here. Oh god. Let's get out. Oh no. Oh no. Things are getting crazy. Oh no. <laughs> I could really use a panic shelter right now. Oh no. Oh, oh. Should have listened to the guide, huh? I've got to make a run for it. All right. Here we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. Okay, I'm safe now. Now it's time to find my way out of here. Oh, it's the blue biome again. Let's grab a few more ender pearls before we go back. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Let me in, let me in. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. I can't go to the nether by myself. Yeah. Come on, all you need is practice. That's all you need. Yeah, a lot, lot of practice, like three years practicing. <sighs> I have a lot of it feels good to be back. A lot. We got five eyes of Ender. We're gonna need quite a few more. I just wanted to grab a few while we're passing through. All right, it's time to start thinking about the battle with the Ender Dragon. In this guide, it talks about using beds to kill the dragon. And I think oh. that's what I'm gonna do. Anyways, let's get a better axe. Well, that's actually really interesting. They recommend diamonds. a bed. I'm also gonna get some more food. Ooh, sheep. I haven't seen Dream doing that. I can to make with beds. beds. Yeah, he's done that a lot. Killing the Ender Dragon with beds? Yeah, yes. I probably just haven't shown you a video with it. No, All right, let's uh, let's go get some more <laughs> ender pearls. Portal. In the event the portal's completely empty, I need 12 eyes of ender. But just in case some of them break along the journey, I'm gonna shoot for like 15. <laughs> and boom, there's 15. Let's head back. That took it looks longer than I easy. All right, gamers, it's time to find. And that's not easy. Let's get going. According yeah, to the guide, the eyes like... of ender have a 20% chance of breaking. He probably just like summarized like 40 minutes, you know? Maybe. Into like five seconds. All right, it's getting dark. I'm gonna sleep right here. All right, let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Wow. laughs> I slept right on top of the stronghold. It's right here. My goodness. I have been wandering around forever. Is now a good time I've never to tell you guys there. I've never beat the Ender Dragon legitimately yeah, we've never on my own. We haven't For as long yet. as I've played Minecraft, I'm sorry guys, but pretty sad. my oh, favorite part is this portal is at? creative mode. <laughs> yeah, that is Hey, true. there we go. I'm that sorry. took longer than it should have. Yeah, Let's have break nice the silverfish spawner. Yeah. I'm going to set up a little respawn point because according to the guide, there's a realistic chance that the Ender Dragon will defeat me, but not me though. I'm built different. Okay, <laughs> here we go. It's all, you know Lord what Lions you know what this is this video is half three, like speed run half two, satisfying one, Z. Go. all right let's get off this platform fast i don't want to get knocked into the void all right first things first we got to take out the towers <laughs> these snowballs aren't going to work <laughs> there we go there i didn't know snowballs worked oh my god
What? I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh shit. Oh no 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 <laughs> no no Oh Dang it <laughs> Oh that's embarrassing Alright let's go At least my stuff should still be there Where is it? Where is it? There's my horrible obsidian fort Alright, we're back in business. I gotta take these crystals out. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Come on! Burn them! Come on! Wow. Ooh. Uh, okay, I think I'm safe. I have like nothing to take these towers out. Gosh, I should have listened to the guide better. Okay, we gotta be <laughs> trying to get thrown off the end island. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Yes, we got one. Okay, down, down, down. We gotta go down. <laughs> Hurry, break fast, dark. Next one, next one. I'm so one. used to seeing Dream just like oh, jump gosh. off and use water. Yeah. Holy moly, that was close. Oh no, I can't reach it. Oh boy. Yes. Ooh. All right, okay, we're doing okay. <sighs> I've died already, so my self-esteem is pretty low. We can do this, we can do this. <laughs> yeah, that should be all the towers. Okay, it's time to kill the dragon. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Nice, nice. I can't reach. <laughs> Down here. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh, damn it. Oh. I almost had it. Oh, third time's a charm. It's funny because I'm like. <laughs> Wait, I wouldn't do that. I really like how persistent he is, though. Yeah, that is so much faster than using beds. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I see. That's why it was so much faster. Okay. And there we go. We did it. I was, uh, I didn't, I didn't I realize he was exploding the beds not close oh, enough. There you have it. We beat Minecraft using Mo Yang's guide. Congratulations. That was my first time ever beating the game in single player. That makes sense. He said it was the first time he ever beat the game in single player. Oh, that well. That makes sense. Okay, I was like... <laughs> Although the snowball thing was really funny for trying to get the towers. Yeah, but I, I prefer the old way. What, Dream's way? Yeah. I, I mean, oh, I prefer... I going prefer up towers and then jumping off using water buckets and then, like, making enchanted axes and destroying the dragon while being chased by, like, three or four people. Is that what you mean by the old way? <laughs> kind of. 